At the farthest edge of our solar system, where sunlight barely grazes frozen clouds and gravity seems to hesitate, one planet has quietly broken every expectation. Neptune For over a century, it stood as the distant sentinel, a cold gas giant cloaked in mystery. Known through mathematics, a single fleeting flyby, and faint glimpses from telescopes, Neptune remained elusive. But now, something has changed. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful eye humanity has ever turned toward the stars, has revealed something so unsettling it has shaken the very core of planetary science. This isn't just an update. It's not a clearer picture. It's a warning. A cosmic red flag. What we thought we knew about Neptune was wildly, dangerously wrong. In a packed auditorium, under the weight of a global livestream, Neil deGrasse Tyson delivered the revelation with the gravitas of someone staring into the unknown. Neptune's internal structure, its magnetic field, even its orbit, all have begun to break from Newtonian predictions. Something is off. Not just strange, terrifying. Because if Neptune, a planet once thought to be stable and understood, is concealing something this radical, then what else might be lurking beneath the veil of our assumptions? For decades, astronomers tracked Neptune's path with robotic precision. It aligned perfectly, until it didn't. Combined data from Webb and Earth-based interferometry revealed small deviations in Neptune's orbit. Subtle at first. Then undeniable. At first, it was easy to blame the tools. Then the software. But the truth was far more chilling. Neptune was moving in ways that defied known gravitational logic. As if being influenced, or perhaps inhabited, by something unseen. And this, was just the beginning. When Webb pierced Neptune's swirling blue shroud, it found an internal structure unlike anything we've ever observed. Layers that defy pressure and density, thermal zones generating heat without solar input. Neptune behaves less like a planet, and more like a machine with a broken manual. Or worse, a machine running on physics we haven't yet discovered. The magnetic field has always been an oddity. Tilted, unstable, misaligned. But now, it's shifting in real time. Not across millennia, but across months. Field lines collapse and reassemble. Waves surge in rhythms that strangely echo biological pulses. These aren't glitches. They react. They evolve. Some scientists now believe Neptune's magnetic field may not come from molten metal, but from exotic superionic ices, matter behaving like a liquid and solid at once, conducting electricity in ways previously unseen. Under Neptune's crushing pressure, this material may swirl in chaotic belts, generating storms and driving a magnetic map that redraws itself constantly. But even that theory can't explain why Neptune reacts to solar events before they occur. Unless Neptune isn't just reacting. It's predicting. Then came the most improbable find of all, heat. Not residual warmth, not thermal echoes. Active, persistent heat blooming from deep within Neptune's clouds. No moon tugs on its crust. No radiation penetrates that far. No known geology should stir that kind of energy. And yet, Neptune burns. Scientists observed what they now call thermal pulses, migrating waves of heat that may even fuel Neptune's great storms. But what drives these waves? One quiet hypothesis suggests phase transitions, matter flipping states under pressure and releasing bursts of energy. If that's true, Neptune isn't just playing by new rules. It's writing them. Then came the si buried in the static of Neptune's whispering radio emissions, hidden beneath the noise of charged particles and the echo of solar winds, the James Webb Space Telescope, and two ground-based observatories thousands of miles apart, detected something extraordinary. A low-frequency pulse. An oscillation so precise, so unnaturally rhythmic, it couldn't be dismissed as cosmic background noise. It wasn't random. It wasn't interference. It repeated, at regular intervals. And then, it vanished. Not faded. Not degraded. It was as if the signal knew it had been detected. The scientific community was immediately divided. 
Some insisted it was a quirk of Neptune's chaotic magnetic field, a byproduct of its exotic, superionic ice layers interacting with solar particles. A natural resonance. A coincidence. But others weren't so sure. Because if Neptune's inner layers can act as resonant chambers, cavities shaped by extreme pressure and layer density, then it's possible those chambers do more than trap energy. They may amplify it. And if something is being amplified, then something may be broadcasting. It was a possibility too profound to fully absorb. But it refused to be dismissed. Because a planet that transmits isn't just a planet. It's a mechanism. A system. A message carrier. And if Neptune is transmitting, then we have to ask what it's trying to say, and to whom. The storm known as the Great Dark Spot, a vortex so large it could swallow Earth whole, has long fascinated astronomers. A chaotic swirl of methane and ice, a monument to turbulence in a world of silence. But now, that storm has changed. It's no longer just a weather system. It shifts direction before solar wind impacts the atmosphere, as if anticipating it. Its temperature rises and falls in rhythmic cycles. And when analyzed through high-resolution spectral imaging, its outer bands appear to exchange matter with surrounding cloud systems at intervals too precise to be random. Some simulations suggested something astonishing. The storm might be breathing. In and out. Like a living thing. What do we call weather that adapts? That responds? That sinks with a changing magnetic field? Do we still call it a storm? Or is it something else entirely, something behaving, evolving, even communicating? Then came the geometry. The kind of symmetry that nature doesn't casually produce. In Webb's high-frequency imaging, a repeating spatial pattern began to emerge. At first it was subtle, a whisper beneath the chaos. But it persisted. The alignment of Neptune's internal heat pulses. The timing of its ring oscillations. The flow of its magnetic anomalies. All followed a quasi-toroidal structure, shaped not by chaos but by design. Regulated energy. Purpose. But Neptune is not a fusion reactor. Or at least, it wasn't supposed to be. The implications were already staggering when a new anomaly appeared. A small object. Not a moon. Not a rock. Something smooth. Something symmetrical. And most disturbingly, something still. It sat in the plane of Neptune's narrow rings, completely motionless. It didn't orbit. It didn't spin. It didn't drift. It simply observed. Webb's infrared sensors caught it across multiple rotations. It was real. It was there. And then it wasn't. No trail. No displacement. No decay. Just gone. As if it had slipped out of existence, or activated a form of cloaking far beyond our comprehension. Speculation erupted. Was it a satellite? A dormant probe? A sensor node embedded in the ring system by something ancient? Or was it part of Neptune itself, awakening for the first time in eons? The question spiraled into something far darker when the final piece arrived. It wasn't caused by visible matter. It wasn't a moon. It was, gravity, bending. Like a lens curving light. Like something there, even if it couldn't be seen. Something warping spacetime on a local scale, like a controlled singularity. A micro-black hole. Or an artificial gravity well. We don't have the mathematics to describe it. But we have the data. And its fingerprints don't match any natural formation. They match design. Something, some force, around Neptune is manipulating gravity. Subtly. Intelligently. And that changes everything. Because if Neptune is capable of housing or hiding a structure that can bend light, anticipate solar events, transmit pulsing radio signals, and regulate its own magnetic chaos, then it's not just a planet. It's a construct. A vessel. A monument. Or something else entirely. Something placed. Built. 
or evolved beyond the natural progression of planetary formation. Because it would mean the planets are not just wanderers. They're components. Steps in a process. Positions on a galactic blueprint. A solar map. Maybe we were never meant to find this. Maybe Neptune wasn't hiding a secret. Maybe Neptune is the secret. And what the James Webb Space Telescope saw, buried beneath storms and shadows, radiating in silence, wasn't just an anomaly. It was the lock turning. If this discovery made you question everything we thought we knew about the cosmos, you're not alone. Because what Webb uncovered near Neptune isn't the conclusion. It's the prologue. Stay with us. And share this with anyone who still thinks Neptune is just a frozen gas giant. Because if Neptune was designed, then who, or what, was the architect? And what comes next?